There are at least four initial choices on how to record your audio. The first is a simple recorder, like this one by Sony, that sells for less than $100. Moving to a more professional recorder, this one by Marantz costs around $550, but has many more features and controls than the simple Sony voice recorder. With a USB mic or a built-in mic, you can record directly to your computer. Another choice that you could use in a pinch is to use your video camcorder, especially if you can connect an external mic and adjust the levels. Three types of connectors you'll most commonly use to connect your microphone. They are the XLR, it's a three pin plug, and it's used for low impedance professional microphones. Another connector is a mini plug. It's an eighth of an inch and can be found on lower end microphones and recorders. It's the same size as a headphone jack that you might find. Your last connector that you'll encounter are USB and they're used to connect directly to your computer. Let's talk about the most common formats you'll encounter and you need to know about. Two are uncompressed and produce larger size files. These are WAVE and AFE files. WAVE is a standard digital audio file format. It stores waveform data similar to an AFE. WAVE files are more common and you'll see them on Windows-based systems. AFE is a CD quality audio file. It's similar to a WAV file. It's uncompressed and produces large size files. The next ones I'll talk about are compressed. They may be of lower quality than uncompressed files, but they are more portable and can be used for longer recordings when you don't have enough space on your card or hard drive. MP3, or also known as MPEG-3, are compressed audio files. They're roughly tenth the size of an uncompressed file, such as an eighth or a wave. AAC is an advanced audio coding file. It's compressed similar to an MP3 file, but higher coding efficiency. WMA is a Windows Media Sound file. It's a compressed audio file produced by Windows Media Player. Setting your sound levels. Before you start recording, there's another decision you need to make. It regards the audio level settings on your recorder. Typically, you'll have two choices. The first, automatic gain, also known as automatic gain control, AGC, or automatic level control, ALC. This setting will put the recorder on autopilot and it will turn up or turn down the sound based on what it senses in the environment. The problem with this setting is, and as I'll describe later, the audio recorder cannot cognitively judge the value sounds like our brains can. The second choice is manual gain setting. In this mode, you'll be setting the desired level based on your hearing hopefully with headphones, and watching the audio meter. Optimally, you should set the level to move between negative 20 and negative 12 decibels. But if you set the level too low, you'll wind up with more noise than signal. If you set it too high, there'll be distortion. It'll sound fuzzy. Or you'll wind up with clipping. It'll sound like it's breaking up. 